and I'm back. After a week hiatus, I miss you guys. Welcome to the show. This is your daily rundown on you. Why? 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 It's happy hour. Hello, oh, nerds! Welcome to Geek Beast, part of the Geekish Network. This is your daily rundown of geek news for geeks like you and geeks like me. Yo, can we get to some news? Please? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's All do right. it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of been bopping around the internet for a while, but a Will Smith is going to reboot the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but this time it's going to be with a grittier tone. This is a story all about how my life got flipped. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air remake has a new trailer that's been leaning into the drama. The new series, just called Bel Air, is on its way to Peacock next year and seems to be a whole lot more serious than the original. Based on the teaser released on Tuesday, Bel Air will be a grittier reimagining of the original story of a kid from West Philadelphia moving to a mansion in Bel Air. So the newest teaser even features a slowed down dramatic monologue of the iconic theme song lyrics. Have you, um, now I do remember when this first hit the scene when it was mm-hmm. just a fan film and people like lost their minds. It was a fan trailer, yeah, yeah. Right, and as yeah. a result of that, like this project, they had a real big significant push. It got Will got a hold of it and saw all the hubbub about it, and you know he breathed life into this bad boy. You know what I gotta say to that though? Go ahead, What's Look, I'm, gonna let you, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. No, no, I'm just wondering. I'm I don't like, want yo, it. like a, a grittier. A, I was just I about to say, it. do we really want a grittier Bel Air? I don't want it. I don't want it at all. They just gave me one of the best sitcom TV shows. In the history of sitcom TV shows. Yeah. Yes, I'm looking at people that like Friends. I don't get it. I don't get it. The Fresh Prince is an amazing sitcom TV show. And you'll give me a gritty version of it? Do I need that? Do I really need that? That's like giving me a gritty version of parents just don't understand. (laughs) <laughs> well, I mean, parents just don't understand is one of the is another one of the building blocks that kind of helped inspire uh, Quincy Jones to create uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So it's just one hand kind of mm-hmm. like watching the other hand. We yeah. watch hand. Now we got this video version. My thing is this: it's like I mean, we're already okay. So listen, there's already a lot of just black trauma. Just to, just in general, I, I wouldn't mind remake maintaining the happiness of the fresh prince of bel-air and then having them getting too deep into social dramas i like my will funny oh, and crass and that's witty that. and joking and and my carl banks <laughs> my carlton banks being funny and slightly offbeat um I, I don't know if i'm uh, if i'm really down for like a super dramatic you know who done it kind of caper thing i don't, I don't know man. It. i don't want it at all i don't want it well, at all well, Peacock is picked this one up too. It seems like Peacock seems to be, you know, picking up a couple of projects from here and there that some of the other stations may not be necessarily paying that much attention to. Is it still, still? Big, big huge shout out to the chat. Yo, Johnny Randolph. Yo, what's cracking? Big pepper. Can't wait to hop in the lab with you tomorrow, man. Yo, he said uh, they did a fake trailer. It was a fan trailer. It was good. But he's also agreeing with the fact that they may not necessarily need to do a dramatic type of uh, Bel Air. Uh, it's not necessarily needed. So um, now, let, now let's also be you know clear that the original series yeah. didn't shy away from serious topics but at wow. heart it was still a situational comedy like some of them some of the more colder moments was like when carlton got the gun and he was about what to go that? like he had murder on his mind like yeah that, that was a really interesting episode yeah, i don't know if you've seen it will will got shot um carlton got a gun and he was like ready to go out and ride out ride or die for his cousin yeah and it really changed how you felt about carlton he went from like you know the offbeat fun you know spoiled dude to somebody that was ready you know to catch a case for somebody um of course there was the episode when when will's pops you know kind of skipped out on him again and you know why don't he love me yeah you know, that was one of the best speeches ever Blue. Man. Yeah, if you walk like, out of wow. Will's life now, yeah. So I mean, it's not like the, it's not like Bel Air didn't hit on serious topics. It did that didn't that that didn't hit the that mean that did hit the mark. So it's just it's just the it's just the knowing that we're never going to have like the whole bouncy fun Bel Air kind of part of it yeah. anymore. Like, do I want to see a teenager who moved from a poor place to a rich place, not fit in and be? dramatic and anything i mean you basically turned this and it's like taking archie comics and give me riverdale yeah. Uh, yeah see and you saw what they did to archie like mm-hmm. riverdale is far from your old school grandma and grandpa's yeah. 1950s archie comics it ain't that not yeah. not by a long shot 
Um, I don't want, I definitely don't want Bill Air to have that same tone as like Riverdale, but who knows? I mean, I mean, I mean they, this, can go there, they can go there if they want to and put fantasy in it. You know, we call that, we call that Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but yo, but my man Will dropped a banger over the weekend. He did the story w- about the uh, Venus and Serena mm-hmm. uh, and their rise and and what it was like for them to be uh, young women learning learning the game of tennis called King Richard. I actually saw it over the weekend. It was it was pretty good. I, I can't lie, it was pretty good. It definitely was good enough to make me you know maintain my stock in Will Smith regarding some of the choices that he takes in. And, and and bringing projects to us. Did you see it? No, I, I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh no, brother man! I'm not gonna I watch this. I got me the next I'll watch two. The next week, so, yeah, I'm excited about it. I heard really good things. I heard the mother kills it. I heard she kills every scene when she speaks. Everybody leans in. Yeah, yeah, and they definitely give her some room to breathe too, because you would think it is it is a story about the father primarily, mm-hmm. um, but but obviously you know he he there, there's no way you can make champions on your own, and his wife was a pivotal uh, yeah. part of that process, and she gets her moments to shine. They say in real life she was like fifty percent, it was like fifty fifty of them making these girls badass tennis players. Shoot, I'll probably even say it was probably even more than that because you know yeah. here's the thing like. Like for every for every Joe Jackson, you know, Mama Jackson was out there too, probably. Like I know she couldn't keep him off the boys all the time, but I'm sure she played a big enough part so that the, the train didn't go completely off the cliff. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You know, um there's there's usually when there's a really strong, powerful man in the in the house, the, the mama has to be there to kind of curtail some of that. You know, it's mm-hmm. a, it's a it's a one-two punch. So I'm glad that they did a good job of like okay. you know, focusing on 